Uh, hey, Cave Hippie here. Welcome back to the channel. As you guys uh, seen, uh, Trixie passed out on us. We were in an epic trike battle trying to get us some more hide and stuff. As you guys can see, I am upgraded. Look, I have hide armor. We are getting technology upgrades. My beard looks more glorious than ever with this nice armor set up here. Really bringing out the colors in my beard. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. These birds are absolutely annoying. I'm having a wonderful day other than the birds, obviously. But yeah, I guess we got to wait for Trixie to wake up. But look at this. We have gained another baby trike. It's level 82. It's almost grown up. You almost ate all the berries I gave you. You are crazy. You want care in a minute and a half. Sounds good. You were already higher level than Trixie. Look at you. But I guess we could run around, collect some of the bits up that we uh, killed off here. The great trike murdering. But I hope everyone had great holidays, had a great New Year's, and welcome back to the world of Ark. So we put in a couple commands here to make the frames per second a little bit higher because we're having a little bit performance issues over here on the Xbox Series X. Nothing serious, but yeah, putting in a couple of console commands is working a little bit better. I dialed back the grass height, as you could see, so much better. And yeah, look at that. We are actually tall compared to the grass now. Who would have thunk? Let's go ahead and collect up all these bits. Yeah, our little baby tracks doing. How you doing, buddy? Oh, you need some more berries already. You are feisty. Take the berries, love the berries, eat the berries. All right, we're going to take you over to the base, drop you off. Oh, look at that. He got imprinted because he went on a walk with me. He needs another imprinting in three minutes, but I think he might be fully grown up by the time that goes by. All right, let's go ahead and bring you over here, buddy. You could chill right there. You going to stay? You all good? All right, you stay right there. Everything will be just fine. We'll be back for you. All right, let's go check on Trixie. Hopefully she woke back up. Can't lose Trixie. Trixie's been around forever now. I absolutely love her. And if you guys missed the last episode, uh, we lost some animals. You guys should go check that out and definitely see the loss. Rest in peace. All right, let's find Trixie here. I totally forgot where I was going. Hey, there she is. Got these stupid chicken birds of the sky over here. Don't mind me. Oh, you're alone. not even halfway up yet. Jeez. Go ahead and take those Megalodon teeth off of you, though. Other than that, you're doing pretty good. Got everything you need on you. I'll take that thatch. Just a little bit of wood. All right, we'll come back for you when you're awake. Looks like we need to get some water, eat some food. You know, basic survival. But we definitely, definitely need to upgrade, like, badly. That is a definitely need. We already upgraded the armor. We just need to get some better tools and stuff, which I'm going to need a whole bunch of metal for. So yeah, we're going to have to work on that. So we're going to have to travel up to a mountain somewhere, try and find some metal. And I don't think being in the cold over there is going to do us very good because we need fur armor for that. And we do not have that, nor do we have strong enough animals to go into the winter biome because that place is dangerous. Well, hello, Mr. Dodo. Are you just hanging out with us? You look fabulous. Strut your stuff, sir. But to looking on the map here. Oh, jeez, all my deaths up here. All right, let's just go ahead and hide all those deaths. So we're up here in the corner. And the mountain I want to go to is over in this area. And I know it has uh, metal nodes and stuff on top of it. And I don't think I have any other closer metal nodes than that to actually collect. So we're going to be taking Tiger here and Terry up to the top and we're going to be riding tiger we're probably going to unload all the weight we possibly can because like i said before these are some wimpy birds and they can't carry much weight but we're not going to be riding terry so we could just up his weight as much as we can you're doing great terry yep crawl 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 you guys are going to be going up to the dangerous mountain with me you guys will be fine no worries oh looks like this trike is fully grown sweet oh you're a male trike oh sweet we have a good name for you. Perfect name, Thomas the Trike. Great name. All right, Thomas, we're just waiting for Trixie to wake back up and we'll bring her over here to meet you. I'm sure you guys will have a wonderful time hanging out, watching some Netflix, chilling. All right, Trixie, are you awake? Probably not. No, you're not awake. All right, we could just leave you here. You're a tough, you're a tough little animal. Oh, 
We have we have a uh, someone trying to pick a fight here. Get out of here, stupid little Dilo. Nobody likes you. I'll take your bets though. Thank you. All right, you go ahead and sleep there, Trixie. We'll come back after we're done with our little mountain trip. Let's go unload all the stuff I possibly can. I'm probably only going to bring my metal pick, and that is it. Actually, you know what? I'll bring bolas, too, in case something tries to run up on us. You never knew. All right, got majority of all my tools, bow, ammo, all off of me. I currently weigh 17 pounds. So we are killing it on the weight department. So let's go ahead and collect tiger here and tell Terry to follow. And we can use them both to bring as much metal back as we can, which is probably not gonna be very much, but all right. Are you following? What you doing? Come on. You are the fastest thing alive, let's go. On the air again, flying to the nearest mountain to get that metal again. Oh, Skybus. How are you, Skybus? Skybus. I kind of want to fly near him and check him out. I also don't want to run out of Stam, though. He's too high and too fast. I can't catch up. He has a cool little white texture on his uh, belly there. He is so cool. Can't wait to try and get him one of these days. Why are there so many killer chickens down here? I don't know. Oh, you can see Megaladoons. I don't know why you got to be like all up in my butt there, Tiger, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. <laughs> you were in my business, bro. All right, let's keep going. We're almost there. I can see the top of the mountain from here. All right, let's fly a little bit down this way, you know, and we're going to take a little rest before we fly across the river because I have no idea if I have enough stam to get across. Look at the pretty views. Looking gorgeous. All right, let's fly across. I'm going to see down here and see if that spino is still here. Oh, yeah, he's still here. Could you get out of the way there, tiger? Thank you. Or, uh... Harry, always in the way you are. <laughs> you are really a nuisance, man. All right, let's keep flying. All right, making our way up the mountain here. We're about like halfway up. All right, take a little rest up here. Make sure there's no death around. Oh, I missed. There we go. Wow, this side of the mountain is absolutely gorgeous. That is beautiful. All right, I'm hoping there's gonna be metal on the very top of this mountain. I'm really hoping. Uh, looks like, oh, what is that? I think that's crystal. Ooh, there's crystal up here. Is there metal? Oh, it looks like there's metal. Oh, there's raptors and saber tooth tigers. Not a fan, not a fan at all. Um, I hope the stegos win. <laughs> Beat him down. Get him, boys. I'm going to land over here and see what happens. Wait for them to clear out for a second. I think the Stegos are definitely going to win. Might take a second. Oh, there's Scorpion over there. Oh, this is like Danger Central. I am not liking this. Oh, looks like the Stego won. Show wheat. What is wrong with me? Oh, I'm hungry. Why am I so hungry? All right, looks like we're going to collect a little bit of metal and a little bit of crystals because I know I need crystals for a uh, water jar and spyglass. Let me just make sure we're safe up here. I am so scared to be up here. This is terrifying. All right, let's go ahead and collect what we can collect. Gorgeous, gorgeous crystal. I got to be limited on how much I take of what. So how much do I got? That's 32 pounds right there. All right, that's not too bad. Let's try and collect at least like, I don't know, close to 100 crystal. I think that would be a fair amount and get a whole bunch of metal. All right, let's go ahead and empty off on Terry here. Try not to poop my pants like I just did. How much weight can you hold there, guy? I think you're maxed out. Oh yeah, you're maxed out, okay. So let's try and get a little bit more metal here. We're not going to be able to bring a whole lot down, but at least it'll be a little bit. I'm just trying to get enough to uh, actually make all the tools we need and whatnot. And I think we are good with weight. Yes. Perfect. Sweet. We got a load of metal. We got some crystal. Successful. 
And now we gotta go all the way back home. It, yep, that's gonna be a fun trip. All right, head on out, Terry. Oh, look at those chicken birds in the sky. They look amazing. I can't wait to tame one of those. I think they're called Argentavises, if I am saying that correctly. Oh, this is a dangerous area. Well, I need stand, so I gotta land for a second. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Oh, hello, Brontos. Knocking over all the trees. Okay, we're safe. All right, let's head on home and make all the upgraded tools that we could possibly make. That means we can make the metal pike, we can make a metal crossbow. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be a huge upgrade for us. It's going to help us out and we can finally start taming some bigger stuff. Stronger. I know I definitely need to look into getting a mammoth because they are absolutely great wood collectors and you can actually get their saddle at a pretty low level. So we might have to wander into the snow zone and see what we could do over there. That's going to be terrifying and a dangerous mission and there's going to be full of death on that one. And we're back at the beach. All right, can you land? Land? Land. No, no, don't float. Land. Please? Where are you going? Just land. Land on the ground. There you go. Perfect. Land right in front of me. All right, we got some metal. I'm sure we have plenty of metal to get our upgrades going. Let's go ahead and smelt this good old metal. So we got that melting and we got crystal now and let's go ahead and what do we need to make the spy glass and the jar we need to look into that cementing paste and high i think i have both of those i sure do water jar coming up all right spy glass i need fiber and wood which i'm pretty sure i have both of those up oh, short on fiber I was looking in the engrams and you can actually make a weapon called a sickle which will collect fiber and I can't wait to get that because I'm always low on fiber always 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 you never get enough fiber and I can't wait to get that tool because I'm so sick of picking bushes I think I'm at about 50,000 bushes pick I know you know living that bush life Woo! hey now hey now this chicken bird's trying to pick a fight with my pterodons. Oh, he's about to regret his decision. Get him. Get him, boys. Yes. All right, let's stick this other metal into the forge here. Thank you. All right, we have a water jar now. Yes. Get rid of the stupid water skin that leaks over time. And now we have a source of water to bring with us everywhere we go. So wheat. We got meat. We got water. Rest in peace, Chicken One and Larry. You will forever be remembered. Hopefully we don't have any other animals joining you. See you guys later. And we can make the spyglass now, show wheat. Now, as far as I've learned about the spyglass, we could use it to see dinosaurs levels from a distance. And I think their names. So here, let's check it out on this Bronto over here. Oh, sweet, male Bronto level 10. You can see him from a distance. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful thing. So now we could actually learn the level of something before, you know, dying by it first. Because <laughs> that's usually not the best option. My right, raptor is way over here. What are you doing, buddy? I've been meaning to make a raptor saddle. So let's go ahead and get that. All right, raptor saddle. 65 fiber, 20 wood, 110 hide. That's not too bad. All right, we got enough supplies. Go ahead and make the raptor saddle. Ooh, I have a level. Let's uh, put up fortitude a little bit. I want to try and get it to level uh, 60 fortitude before I stop pumping that one. I think that should be good enough. Keep us warm in the cold and keep us cool in the heat. Or at least uh, try to, anyway. Here you go, buddy. Saddle for you. Did we not name you yet? I guess we didn't name you yet. You're a man. So let's go ahead and pick your... I have a perfect name for you. We're going to call you Teeth. Come on, Teeth. Let's get back over here. Oh, first time riding the raptor. He is so fast. Oh, he jumps. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I'm the deadliest thing alive. Oh, no way. He pounces. Oh, get out of here. All right, I kind of want to take on something, or at least try to. Level five. I believe we could take on the Parasaur. I think the raptor's faster than the Parasaur. Pounce. Hiya! Hi! <laughs> oh, he is great! He's amazing! 
You just destroyed that dude. Oh, I forgot to get my tools on me. Where are you going? You just ran that way. Where are you going? All right, let's go back. Let's collect. Yeah, get that meat. Collected more hide than meat? What? Oh, you have two levels. Give you a little more health, a little more melee damage. Perfect. Oh, teeth, you're amazing. I love you, buddy. You're great. All right, let's see how this melted metal is doing. Got 22 pieces. I think we can actually make the sickle with it. Yes. Sickle coming up. Oh, yes, we could finally get infinite fiber. This is such a step up in technology. You don't even understand how many bushes. How many bushes we have been collecting. Now let's test this guy out. I can't wait to see what it does. Oh, look at the amount of fiber I'm getting. This is amazing. I no longer have to pick bushes and get rid of berries all the time. And I only got to do this for a little while. I already have 140 freaking fiber collected. This is great. I should have definitely gotten this first. I'm never going to run out of fiber again. All right, well, I'm going to smack on these bushes for a little while. Collect as much fiber as I can for a second while I wait for this other metal to get done. And we'll probably make us a metal pike. Get rid of our standard pikes because those things suck. Look at that. Just a few seconds. Got 394 fiber. That is awesome. All right, we got another level. And Fortitude's at 60. All right. Everything's working out good. And it looks like we finally have enough metal to make a pike. That's going to be a great upgrade over the freaking spears. Oh, check out the spear. Oh, it's great. It looks amazing. Check out that thing. I could poke anything with it. I could poke anything's eye out with it. I look great in this light right here. Check out my beard. This looks amazing. I look like I'm ready to kill anything. I'm ready. Oh, are you going to be next, Mr. Turtle? What level? Oh, you're level 15. Never mind. I don't Nope. Nope. I don't need to mess with you, sir. You go, go ahead and stay over there. So one thing I did want to look into is making a feeding trough. And I'm pretty sure you need raw metal to make a feeding trough. Not sure how much. So, oh, not mean to hit all the buttons. Okay. Let's go ahead and take like 10 of them because pretty sure that's all I need. Let's go ahead and learn a feeding trough. There it is, 40 fiber, 60 thatch, 8 metal, raw metal, and 120 wood. Not bad. Put it on a little tracker there. I think we have thatch in here. Oh, yes, we do. We are out of wood, though. So I'm going to go beat up some trees, make this feeding trough, place it down. So the feeding trough has a eating range for all dinosaurs that you have so they could all feed out of the trough instead of having individual stuff in each inventory. It makes the uh, makes it a little less tedious so you don't have to fill everyone's inventory. You can just fill the feeding trough and you're good to go. I want to knock down this big tree over here. I just feel satisfaction when I knock down big trees. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Another trilobite. I don't know why they keep spawning over here, but I love these little dudes. I love killing them and collecting all their bits. Come here, little buddy. Get poked. And let me just, yep, take all your bits. He gives oil, so I'm assuming that's got to be used for something incredibly useful later on. And I didn't notice before, but they also give a huge amount of chitin. Like, I just got 18 from that guy. That's like a very large amount. All right, let's go ahead and make this feeding trough real quick. Bam. And we're going to place this dude right out in front of the house here. Oh, it looks kind of cool. Okay, let's keep, put it like right there. Perfect. So we should be able to just like, what, stick random food in here and they can eat from it. Oh, look, it filled up. Heard someone eat over there as I placed it in. So that must be it. Just place me in there. Sorry, bud, I'm taking your meat. And I'm gonna have to place berries in there for the herbivores. I have to go collect all that. Oh, you know what? I forgot Trixie is laying over in the freaking field over here. Hopefully she's up by now. She should be. She should be up. It's been long enough. Trixie, I'm so sorry I left you over here alone. Looks like you're awake and you're ready to come back to the base. Back to the homestead. All right, come on, Trixie. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and collect the berries off of Trixie here. We're gonna throw these into the feeding trough and that should feed all the herbivores. And then got the extra meat for all the carnivores. And it should feed absolutely everybody that I have over here without a problem. There we go. Got all that. So, yeah, they have like little feeding trough icons to show that everyone's in range. Very nice. Everyone's eating. Everyone's happy. Everyone's beautiful. Gorgeous. 
Now let's go ahead and check this. All right, we got 15 more melted meat. I'll take it. And I was cooking some extra meat over here because you know, you can never run out enough meat. Oh, I have three extra pieces. Say what? Go ahead. Eat three. All right, please tell me I have enough metal to get the last item on my list which is a crossbow. Oh, we just need fiber, which I got plenty of that. No worries there. Yes, crossbow. Been waiting to get this thing it is so powerful. And the fact that we could switch ammos between the stone and the trank on the same crossbow, that is gonna be great. Just go ahead and replace that chunk. We'll go ahead and keep the ramshackle bow just in case in the box over here. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Well, hello, Mr. Bronto, how you doing? All big and large and in charge. Oh yeah, check that crossbow out. That is awesome. Oh man, I look like a professional hunter now. Look at that, we got hide, we got all the weapon upgrades. I am ready to destroy. So I am curious, like what level I gotta be to get the Argentavis saddle? Oh, it looks like level 62. And I am level 46. I am so far off from that. All right, not a big deal, not a big deal. But I think we're going to have to make some more Trank Arrows so we could actually try to take down a Mammoth. I think that would be an excellent thing to do. Pretty sure we have some more Narcotics in here so we could actually make some more Trank Arrows. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead. How many Trank Arrows do we actually have? We have 53. Let's go ahead and make, I don't know, like 20 more? Yeah, I think 20 more will get it. Really? Who's attacking stuff over here? What's going on? Oh, another freaking chicken bird. Really? These things are so annoying. And now my pterodon's gonna run around like crazy. I think I can just follow? Yes! You just scope them out with the freaking thing and whistle them to follow me. Get over here. Stop running around. I need to make like a little platform for you guys so you stop flying away from me. But these chicken birds are a problem. All right, everyone settled, everyone cool. You killed the chicken bird, do you feel satisfied? Teeth is way over in the water over here. You know there's piranhas in the water there, bud. You don't wanna be playing with those things, you might not win. I am too heavy to ride them, so go ahead and follow me over here, Teeth. We need you by home. You're gonna protect the trike, sir. All right, I think I have enough trank arrows. Oh, yeah, we have 73. I, that's probably enough for a mammoth, I'm hoping. All right, let's go ahead and empty off all my extras. Fiber and hide is all I'll be keeping. We're gonna go and uh, see if Tiger can actually hold me. Am I light enough? I am. I wanted to go over to the winter biome and see if we could take a mammoth down. That would be excellent because we need to gather a lot of wood because I think it's about time for a Bates upgrade. So we might just come over here, see if we can find us a mammoth. I know this place or the winter biome is incredibly dangerous. But we might be able to lure a mammoth like to a safe spot, maybe? Possibly. Probably. Maybe. Oh, there's a Argentavis bird, chicken bird of the sky over there. I don't see any mammoths yet. Oh, whoa. It's not super cold over here. I'm not dying yet. That's always good news. I just see so much stuff fighting over there. Looks like we have a couple wolves. And some tigers. Wolf, tigers, and bears, oh my. It's gonna be a little hard to get a mammoth over here. This is like danger city. All right, try and, oh, there's a mammoth. He's beautiful. Hello, my good sir. Oh, you're level 40? What the heck is that down the beach? Those are wolves? That's a whole wolf pack. Um, oh, that's a level 140 too. Oh, they are gonna murder this mammoth. Oh, we have, what the heck is that thing? A Deodon? Is that a warthog? Are those warthogs? Oh no, they're attacking the mammoth. And the bird's right there. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, I did want him, but uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. He's just gonna get killed off real quick here. Oh yeah, he dying. Oh, poor mammoth. Fight your heart out, man. You got this. I believe in you. You can win. Fight to the death. You can beat him. You almost took out the bird. You got this. Just a few more hits, man. You got this. Oh no, the wolf pack. Oh, 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 he's, they already ate him. All right, I'm gonna just fly away from this uh, murder scene over here. 
fly down the beach a little way, see if we can find us a mammoth that's actually, like, isolated, I guess? The worst thing about being up here... Yeah, look, look at that. They're swimming across the water at me. Look at these freaking crazy wolves. I hope you guys can't get up here. Yeah, you go ahead and just keep swimming. Oh my... Holy crap, a whole pack of mammoths over there. Oh, he's gonna make it around the side and get to me, isn't he? Oh, these guys are smart. Is he drowning? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, this is nuts. I do not like being over in the winter. I need me a mammoth. There's no way. So much stuff going on. What the heck are those? It's like a giant sloth. Oh, they just destroyed that dude. I am getting out of here. There's another mammoth there. Another mammoth there. There's so much death. All right, guys, I searched around the winter biome for a while. I was unsuccessful at finding a uh, mammoth isolated by himself, but I am actually running out of time, so we're going to be calling the episode here. But we did get a lot done. We got some upgrades going, and we have everything we need to, you know, move on and upgrade and go forward. All these birds help me out so much, and they're chaos at the same time. You gotta love them. And guys, don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment on how much you love it. And don't forget to check out my other videos to catch up with the series. And we will see you guys on the next one. Bye!